welcome to study diagnostic solution my name is bharat sharma and today we talk about how to make a diagnostic without possible so we know when manufacturing part with a high pressure diagnostic there is a risk that positivity may result in a particular areas so here we will learn what cause positivity and how to control it through careful design and the process control so first of all we talk about why does a diagnostic have a positivity a diagnostic is created in a second as we know molten aluminum is forced into the cavity in less than uh, 50 or 40 milliseconds and begins to solidify as soon as it is touched the surface of a uh, die the casting solidify in just a few seconds can be removed from the die and aluminum casting solidify just like the uh, ice crystal and you are uh, uh, we show in this image you can see this the cracking along your car window It just like a it's a, it's a, the cracking along your car window. Once the first aluminium crystal are formed on the die surface, it continues to uh, grow until the entire casting of uh, solid. The skin of the casting consists of the first few millimeters of aluminium to solidify against the die steel. This material is structurally perfect. It is a pressure type matrix of aluminium. The skin of casting is typically uh, one millimeter thick. Unfortunately, the process become more cathartic as the solidification process is from there. The progression of the solidification is largely determined by the geometry of the casting. The part design thus plays significant role in the size and the rotation of porosity in the final part. The ones characteristic that uh, uh, Play the most significant role in the solidification, or you can say in porosity, is the variability in the wall thickness throughout the casting. So now we talk about the inconsistent wall thickness effect the casting in two ways. What these are ways? First is interrupt the air during filling, which forms gas porosity. The second one is internal voids. due to the uneven solidification which called is uh, shrinkage porosity so let's first talk about the entrapped air gas porosity the air in the in a, in a die cavity must be evacuated through the vents or vacuum valves during the filling or it will remain trapped in the casting as a porosity the porosity formed as a molten aluminum collect air during uh, filling is called gas porosity as we know the air And in image uh, shows the gas porosity on a polished surface of die casting. The gas porosity appears round and smooth. We form as an aluminium solidify around the pocket of uh, air. A casting designed with a consistent or thickness allow the air in the cavity to uh, be a push ahead of the metal flow and directly out of the bands. So this result in a casting with a very small amount of trapped air. So here the following simulation show an ideal fill uh, laminar metal flow goes here towards the vent without entrapment. Here you can see in this image. So a casting with an inconsistent wall thickness is more likely to trap air, and the molten metal will collect air as it flows through the die cavity. This air will become gas porosity, which is not washed out into the pores. there another simulation shows the air trap in the metal flow uh, which will result in a porosity uh, so we can controlling gas porosity with the uh, with the die design the die caster will engineer runner and vent design to minimize the amount of trapped air in the casting the flow simulation uh, such a, uh, as a magnus soft or uh, you know it's a flow 3d must be used to optimize runner and venting system for uh, Each casting. So this uh, on simulation software allows the casting engineers to model and uh, test various ideas before the die is constructed. So here internal void due to an over uneven solidification. Now we talk about the shrinkage porosity. So here you can see the image. This uneven solidification opens internal voids inside the casting called uh, shrinkage porosity. So shrinkage porosity is a sharp and jagged, uh, as you can see in this bay, which is formed as the casting shrink unevenly during the solidification. The die caster has the two tools to control the shrinkage porosity. The first is internal cooling and heating lines in the die. 
The die caster will design a die with a practically placed heating and the cooling lines to the influence even solidification the casting. Simulation is performed to determine which area of the casting will be uh, lost to solidify. So these areas will contain the highest level of costing. The die caster will uh, then place cooling line as close to these area as possible to promote more equal solidification of the casting. So here the image we have 3D model of the hot die at the internal cooling channel and you can see the figure. The second option uh, which die caster can use to minimize the shrinkage velocity is the intensification pressure. The die casting machine use high pressure to force the molten aluminum to the shrink void during the solidification. So this pressure can be as high as uh, 800 to 1000 kg per centimeter square inside the die during solidification. So the following image uh, we have uh, the third trace represent uh, pressure over time show the intensification uh, pressure rise after the cavity are filled. So the die caster will use this data to closely monitor and uh, control the intensification pressure during production. Okay, so no, you know, unfortunately the intensification pathway is the uh, only open for a few seconds. We must know that uh, the intensification pathway is only open for a few seconds before the gate inlets solidify. So the casting will shrink based on its geometry and the die temperature once the gate are solid. So simulation show unsolidified area of the casting after the gate are closed. Shrink velocity will exit in this area. Here we have another image. You can see the another that we better understand the die casting solidification process uh, with this uh, image, simulation image. So, how do you make a die casting without porosity? So, my answer is perfectly porosity free casting, you can't make it. So, porosity cannot be eliminated perfectly, but it can be controlled through the careful design process, control, and the uh, uh, finishing. As uh, uh, the earlier you begin working with your die caster or your die design, the pattern, the opportunity to minimize the amount of porosity in your part through the design. We can use our expertise and uh, uh, technology to assist you in uh, designing a new part or manufacturing. Here we are uh, steady die casting. We can help you to improve your die design so that you can uh, control. Uh, your porosity, whatever it is, uh, gas porosity or shrinkage porosity. So I think it may have it's a brief dis uh, description of the uh, porosity control in your die casting. If you have any query or you want to help uh, to make your die design uh, porosity theory, so we are there. Study die casting solution can help you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Keep learning till then. Thank you.